Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. All right, so we're gonna be doing a quick workflow tip for Redshift today. So I have this motorcycle, and if we turn on the ground shading, you can see it's not a very dense uh, motorcycle, but there's definitely a lot of polygons, and if we make a lot of clones of this, it's gonna bog down our computer quite a bit. By the way, this is a free motorcycle um, object that you can download from our website. All right, so let's take this and put it inside of a cloner. And right now I have a count of 20 and 20. And you can see that already it's starting to slow down quite a bit. If I kick this up to around 40 by 40, it's going to be almost unusable in my computer. I can barely navigate around here. It's really, really slow. And I'm gonna show you a way to really speed this up when you're using Redshift. All right, so if that's pretty much unusable, let's take that out of here. And let's go to File, Export, and let's go to Redshift Proxy. And this is going to make a proxy object of that motorcycle that's gonna load really fast. And in our pop-up window for Export, let's do Selected Objects since I have my motorcycle selected. We don't need lights, we don't need polygon connectivity on. Let's keep compressed data on because that'll make a smaller file. Uh, world origin is fine and then let's make sure to check on add proxy to scene because it's going to save out the proxy and also import it into your scene and that's what we want all right anything else uh, if you have animation you can actually bake that out as well which is great but we're just going to hit okay for now and let's save that out and as it saves it it's also going to re-import it and you can see that now we have a rs proxy but we also have our motorbike here which is great because if we want to make any changes we'll have to go into that and re-save out a new proxy so we'll turn off that motorbike and let's look at this proxy right now so here are the attributes for a proxy object and right now it's doing a show bounding box and we can change the preview to off or a solid bounding box or you can change it to mesh so let's put this into the cloner and see what we have. So already you can see the power of this and how fast it is. I can cruise around this scene so easily. And you can imagine this being something like a tree on a landscape. This is exactly how you would want to do it. It's so fast to work with. And the other nice thing is if we change the preview to mesh, this is gonna be sort of uh, the speed of in between a proxy and using a regular object. It's a little bit slower, but it's definitely faster than when you just use the object. But here's a really cool thing. What I like to do is go to the preview percentage and drop that down to say 15%. And now we're getting a lot of that speed back, but we can kind of see this ghosted image. So you can set up your scene and block out your camera moves and all that kind of stuff, but you can move around very easily. All right, so that is the RX proxy. One last thing I wanna mention is that there are a bunch of overrides you can play with. And one really important thing to know is that by default, the materials come from the proxy file, but you can change that to object, and then you can actually texture this object. So you could put any texture onto this proxy and it's going to change the, uh, the texture to that. So if we hit render, you can see everything is working perfectly. So that is how to use a Redshift proxy. It's such a great workflow tip. Hope you guys found that useful. And before you head out, make sure to check out our VDB Smoke Pack Volume 1, the animated version. This product has 50 incredibly realistic smoke animations in a VDB format, which you can load into any render engine that supports them, such as Octane, Redshift, Arnold, Cycles, Houdini, and many more. There aren't very many animated VDBs out there, especially such a large collection and we're really proud to have such a huge variety too so that you can find the perfect animation for your scene. As always thank you for supporting our site and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao!